Chevalier is here, folks, and we've never brought you better news. On his arrival, the great French star was presented with a straw hat, for the boat has long been a part of his act, almost as much a part as the world-famous Chevalier's smile and charm. Maurice Chevalier has added luster to the world's entertainment for more years than he may care to remember, but his wonderful magnetism has lost nothing of its draw. Still more than a great star, he is still unique. Maurice Chevalier, a master of good humor and a star among stars. Nairobi's airport, and the band is out for the arrival of two very distinguished visitors. Princess Ali Khan, perhaps better known to us as Rita Hayworth, and her husband, the Prince Ali Khan. As heir to the spiritual leadership of the world's Mohammedans, the prince was garlanded, for his visit holds special significance for Africa's large Muslim population. His first duty in Nairobi was the opening of the Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee Hall. In Nairobi, as no doubt they will be in other cities that they visit on their route to Lorenzo Marx, they were accorded a picturesque welcome. And in fact, preparations are already well in hand in Mozambique's capital to make their visit a memorable one. Arriving in Johannesburg by blue train to star in the forthcoming production, A Streetcar Named Desire, is Betty Ann Davis, who plays the same role that she took over from Vivian Lee with such tremendous success in London. Tennessee Williams' outstanding play includes one of the greatest female roles ever written, and Betty Ann Davis takes full advantage of the scope offered. Playing opposite Miss Davis in the South African production, as he did in London and in the provinces, is the young American actor William Sylvester. A streetcar named Desire is due to repeat the success it has enjoyed in New York, London and Australia. <laughs> 